Hello! Today let me tell you about overfitting and underfitting. They are very simple concepts, but for some reason there is just no simple explanation online. Wherever I go, it's very confusing. And I had my fair share of problems with it too. Like even if I even after I started working, I was not 100 percent sure what overfitting and underfitting exactly was. And I got some really good feedback from my students at the Master the Data Science Method course. They told me that I did a good job explaining it, so I thought I'd share it with everyone. This is my explanation of overfitting and underfitting. So let's first talk about what a machine learning algorithm is. How does it learn? So basically, it's, it's the same as our brains. You know how you learn something, you try something, and then your brain kind of sees the patterns along the way as you're trying, as you're touching things, as you're putting things in your mouth. How do they taste? How do they smell? Are they good for us? Are they bad for us? How are our parents reacting to them? So basically it's kind of, machine learning is kind of like a toddler's brain. And the example that I like to give is basically tasting apples. So. Let's say you've never seen or tasted any apple in your life. If you get one big green juicy apple and you bite into it and then it turns out it's sour, what are you going to think as a baby? All apples are sour, right? And then once you get a red apple, like a small cute little red apple and you bite into it and it's super sweet, what are you going to think? Okay, not all apples, apples are sour. Green apples are sour, but uh, red apples are actually sweet. And then, you know, you might go around the world, taste a lot of green apples that are sour, taste a lot of red apples that are sweet, and then you kind of say, okay, I am confident in this from now on. But maybe one day you'll go to a place where they actually have red apples that are sour and green apples that are kind of sweet. So what are you going to do? In that point, what happens as humans to us is we, don't, we kind of stop trying to classify things and then we say, okay, green apples are generally sour, but there are cases where they are not. And red apples are generally sweet, but there are also cases where they are kind of sour. So what happens to us in that sense is we learn that there is a gray space in the world. Not everything is black and white. We learn that there are cases where we cannot really classify, we cannot 100% understand. And that's also what you want in your machine learning model. You want your machine learning model to generally understand the difference between two different groups to be able to classify these two things. But when it comes to the gray area, you want your model to understand that there is a gray area and it cannot perfectly classify everything. But sometimes you make mistakes while you're training your model and what happens is your model completely disregards the existence of the gray area. So what it does is next time it gets a red apple that is actually sour, it says, hmm, I cannot explain the sourness from the color anymore. And then it will start looking at all the other variables. Maybe if you provided it with uh, the time variable, maybe it will say, okay, this is a red apple. I know red apples are sweet. But the difference is, all the red apples I tasted before, I tasted them in the morning. I'm tasting this one in the evening. So maybe it will say, okay, now I understand all the red apples that I taste in the evening are sour. This is obviously wrong, but your model is trying to explain that gray area that we, the unknown that we can 100% classify. It's trying to divide it into groups. And that's why it's tr starting to make wrong assumptions. So that's what we call overfitting. An overfitted model is so closely fitted to its data points that it sees, it cannot be generalized to the real world anymore because it completely disregards that gray area. And this is a problem. We don't want this to happen because we want our models to be applicable to the real world. And this happens because the data that we're training our models with is not the real world. It's just a subset of the real world. And that's why we're not trying to learn every single data point perfectly. What we're trying to do is to understand the general pattern that exists in our data set and move on from there. And underfitting is much simpler. It's basically when your model cannot really understand the underlying pattern in a data set. So with the same example, let's say you give your model a green apple, which is sour, and a red apple that's sweet, and your model at the end says, all apples are bitter. I hope I achieved to give you an intuitive explanation of what overfitting and underfitting is. If you want to learn more data science concepts and at the same time complete a project of your own, I highly recommend you go to the Master the Data Science Method course and check it out. I'll leave the link below this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a like. You can also subscribe to hear more from me and I'll see you around.